Hello and welcome to another tutorial, this time on Seraphim Glaciers. And the topic of this video is going to be the Ghetto Expansion, or the Mixed Ghetto. So you hopefully know what a Ghetto Gunship is, namely a T1 or T2 transport, or even T3 transport for that matter, um, that is filled with light assault bots. And uh, normally, when you use the a second air transport first uh, build order, which I covered in the generic build order video for beginners, you load your transport with six engineers. And this time I have four engineers and two light assault bots. And these two light assault bots are going to um, help me exerting map control early on. And um, this is why I call this uh, the mixed ghetto or the ghetto expansion, because it is not a complete ghetto that would require six labs in the transport, since some are engineers and some are labs mixed ghetto, or you call it ghetto expansion, to explain the purpose, namely expanding. So you can see that he has two interceptors, and um, I have my own. The interceptors are shooting my transport now. One engineer dies, gets shot out of the transport, but um, the other three engineers are landing here, and I killed his interceptors with my interceptors. These engineers are going to grab some reclaim, build mixes, and a factory to expand. And my interceptors scouted enemy engineers on that same island. And you can see my ghetto is shooting at the engineers. And since the labs are still inside the transport, he doesn't even have any way of reclaiming it. So as long as he doesn't bring interceptors, I can use the ghetto to kill engineers on his island. And if he brings interceptors, I can still land the transport, unload the light assault bots, and use them on the ground. So light assault bots have a lot of flexibility if you use them this way. And maybe what's important is, like, was it dumb luck that I ran into him here? Well, no, because this is his starting position, so this island is going to be the closest to him. You can see the other uh, other island, the other large island, is further away. And usually people don't drop the center early on. Instead, they go for one of the large islands because there is more reclaim on them, right? And uh, mass spots too. So you would go for one of the large islands and the decision is just, uh, am I going to drop the island that's closer to me or am I going to drop the enemy island? And usually when you drop your own island, you get it faster. And that's also where you usually take six engineers to drop it. But if you drop the enemy island, then bringing some light assault bots inside the transport may be a good idea. So you can see its engineers completed this factory, but uh, my bomber is going to take care of the engineers, and the ghetto is going to hit the factory. And you can see he hasn't started building anything in that factory yet, but that may actually be because he knows that I am... Uh, capable of denying anything he builds here. This is because the bomber is targeting the factory directly and anything he builds inside that factory is going to get killed before it's even finished. While it's still being produced, the bomber can take it out. And the ghetto itself adds some extra DPS on the factory, so this factory will die as well. So of course you aren't always this lucky, right? You don't usually uh, use a single mixed ghetto and you get both islands this way. But what is kind, kind of realistic is uh, that you manage to deny the island um, the enemy is dropping on and grab it yourself, at least for a short time. And this is actually creating a net benefit for you, because if you just drop your island and he drops his island, then you are on equal footing, right? But as soon as you deny his island, but get the island instead, you basically have two islands more. Or you could say you have one island, he has one island less, the, that's the benefit of two, right? And this is kind of how it works. So I encourage you to um, try loading some live salt bots into your transport whenever you're planning to drop on the enemy island or whenever you're expecting the enemy to contest your own island. And then these light assault bots are going to exert a great deal of map control 
and the only real way to um, shoot these down is by using interceptors but even then you can land the transport unload the labs and still use them on that island didn't do it here that was a mistake but normally i should have spotted the interceptors beforehand landed the transport and kept the labs online so i hope this little trick is going to help your own gameplay not all expansion is just engineers you can load tanks possibly even artillery if you expect enemy to build pd anti-air and scouts into that uh, transport other than just engineers but i suppose light assault bots are overall the most useful as you could see here since they have the ability to shoot out of transport so i hope you benefit from this and good luck trying it out